Hello, this is Brian. Today is Sunday, October 25th, 2020. I am in the Frag Creek Campground in the Cleveland National Forest in on Palomar Mountain. So I'm here. Uh, I've been here a few times just to poke around. Never spent the night here. Whew. Trees are dripping wet. It's been very m misty and drizzly, even with a few light rain showers on and off today. So, here I am at an elevation of 4,950 feet above sea level. Not super high. High enough for some very lush conifer forest here. So, as uh, you may have seen my video spotlight on trees on Big Cone Douglas fir. Well, I was right next to a pretty sizable one in Angeles National Forest. Well, I was rapping about ones in the Palomar area, ones in Fry Creek Campground. Well, I'm here. I'm afraid to pan up because the drizzle is so thick right now. I'm afraid of getting my camera all wet. But, I'm going to show you show you the mist right there. A lot of big, big cone Douglas firs here. Sudasuga macrocarpa. Lots of very impressive ones here in this area. These are some of the largest ones I've ever seen. This one, they may not be extraordinarily tall, but it's kind of like a... Uh, kind of like the one I was uh, pointing at across the canyon. See, the, the one that was next to us next to me when I was filming it was shorter and squatter but then I was pointing across the canyon there was a more more of a lusher almost looking like a regular Douglas fir these ones tend to look more like the regular Douglas firs than the uh, big cones you don't see a lot of fire scars I right, just wiping the water off of there big cones can get quite girthy Let's go up to let's go up to one right here. And this area is full of big cone Douglas firs. You see that one right there? It's very tall, very narrow. Wouldn't be surprised if it's at a low, slightly lower elevation than where we are now. But these trees can get very girthy, especially for not typically being extremely large trees. Just look at this beautiful trunk. Extremely beautiful tree. Very beautiful tree. Yep, this is Pseudosuga macrocarpa. Pacific Douglas firs bark is supposed to be quite similar. But big cone Douglas fir is meant more for surviving fires, which are more prevalent in their habitat. And they can re-sprout from their branches if the fire doesn't kill through the tissue too much. But it's just a beautiful tree. I just had to come down here and do a little highlight video. There's another decent sized one down here. It's quite girthy. Right here by the picnic tables. This one's quite a thick trunk specimen. Beautiful tree. As any of you who've watched my videos know, I'm very keen on Big Cone Douglas firs. Some younger ones up there. They're very common here on Palomar Mountain. Especially since it's a relatively low mountain range. Let's see quite a bit of them here. And like I said in my video on Spotlight on Trees, Big Cone Douglas fir. Where you got big cone Douglas fir, you can basically bet. You can bet, basically bet your bottom dollar that you're gonna have canyon live oak. They're like two peas in a pod, even though they're completely unrelated trees. There's your big cone Douglas fir cone. It's an older one, so you don't see the three-pronged bracts sticking out as prominently. Let's see if I can find one. 
that has more of that. Here we go. This cone right here. You see, right here, you see these little brownish things. These are the three prong bracts that stick out from the cone. Those beautiful trees. This is an incredibly beautiful tree. Look at that. Wow. Just amazing. Yes, I know I tend to really go crazy with all the epithets. But what can I say? It's an incredibly beautiful tree. It's a tree I've been wanting to grow for a while, too, but I always fail to get seeds. And this year, no big cone Douglas firs that I knew of produced cones. None. So that might have been a, a this year cone. And there you have it. Canopy poking above everything else. So it's unusual. Well, I wouldn't say super unusual. You see a lot of mixing with white fur. And this is quite a low elevation for white fur, to be honest with you. Usually, you usually don't see too many white furs this low in elevation. But one tree you'll see a big cone with quite often, usually downslope from it, the coulter pines. And there are some coulter pines here. Actually, Palomar Mountain's got some very large coulter pines. Some of the largest coulter pines I've ever seen. And this one right here is coming up to it. A quite large specimen. You always see me po pointing out these trees when I'm in the mountains. But that's a coulter pine right there. That's not a Jeffrey and it's not a Ponderosa. That is a legit coulter pine. Probably about 100, 110, 120 feet tall. If you go into Palomar, you get supersized. Seems like something about the, the little extra wetness this area gets from fog drip like today. It receives at least 30 inches of normal rain, like rain falling out of the sky, and probably about 10 inches of fog drip per year. So these, these look like ponderosas, so we got ponderosas. You'll see ponderosas with big cones. There you go. Looking up slope, looking up there. Lots of big cone Douglas firs. And I need to wipe the lens again. Sorry about that. But it's another Fry Creek campground. It's got a lot of beautiful stuff here. Especially some extra large big cone Douglas firs. So that's why I recommend coming here. And if you take if you go through the campground and go up the hill above it, you'll find some huge coulter pines there too. Even taller than this. Probably like 130 feet tall. Almost as tall as the 143 foot champion. There's actually a trail over here too. Let's just walk this for a minute or two and see what's down here. See if there are any more big cone Douglas firs. Yeah. So I know I've already done a spotlight on this tree, so there's probably a lot of redundancy in what I'm saying, but I just wanted to show you some some of the Palomar Big Cone Douglas firs that are quite impressive. Quite impressive some of the sizes of these trees. The big, especially the Big Cone Douglas firs. I mean, there are a lot of, there's some very large white firs larger than most of the higher mountain ranges here as well. I kind of sworn I saw a big cone Douglas fir around here. I'm trying to keep this video mostly about that. 
like I said, if you if you want to see super-sized versions of the trees I yap about a lot, come to Palomar, and you'll see why. Very lush and very thickly forested. Well, see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.